Hey everybody, Andrew Garda, Blurb TV, thunderandblurb.com. As you can see by the suit, I'm getting ready to go to Radio City Music Hall for the 2010 NFL Draft. I'll be covering it for 104.3 The Fan. I want to give you a little sort of as-we-go media eye view of what's going on. So I'm going to tape some of the stuff, a little atmosphere, things like that, put it together, and you can see it on Friday at thunderandblurb.com. And, uh, you know, just kind of give you a little insight into what goes on behind the scenes. So, I'm going to head off to the city. I'll see you guys very soon, and uh, give you a little tour of what's going on at Radio City. Hey everybody, as you can see, made it through the subway system okay. Right outside, Radio City Music Hall, where everything's going to happen tonight. I'm going to head over, check out the line, check out what's going on inside, give you a little more background on what's going on here at the 2010 NFL Draft. Covered you all weekend long by Thunderandblurb.com, Blurb TV, and Sports Radio 104.3 The Fan. You want to know what's going on at and behind the scenes at the draft? Come on with me, let's find out. Hey, uh, so grab some water, I'm gonna go sit down again. Had a little conversation with Sam Farmer at LA Times, got to meet Don Banks. We're getting ready, a lot of the crowd's starting to come in. But not a ton yet. And uh, we're just an hour and a half away from first pick. Be back a little bit later, let you know what's going on. And, of course, you can always follow me on thunderblurb.com. All right, so you guys locals, your Denver fans, or coming well, was, in from Colorado? I was born and raised in Colorado, but we live in Alabama, actually. Oh, did, when did you get in for the draft? Uh, this morning. This morning? You guys have tickets already, or you have someone uh, yeah, get in line? Yeah, we have tickets on. Yeah, okay, take it. So, do you do this every year? Or? No, this is actually our first time. All right. Well, what are you, who are you looking to go for Denver up at their pick? No, we don't. Well, for, we're from Alabama, and we think that Rolando McLean needs to go in our first pick. And then, at that point, we'll kind of keep it open. All right. Well, enjoy the rest of the night, and uh, thanks a lot for your time. Hey guys, so we are about half hour, 45 minutes away from the draft, and a couple of rumors circulating, including the Seahawks wanting to look back, and Pro Football Talk saying that no quarterback from Minnesota today. We'll see what happens. Just a little while from now, pick number one off the board. Be back again a little bit today. Day in the life of media guy. You know, I got to take you down to the food because we get lived and die by the free food. So we'll have to see that before the end of the evening. I'm sure I will too. You can hear me. I can't hear me. We're introducing Hall of Fame greats right now. This crowd is insane. We are 20 minutes away from first pick. Crazy exciting here. We'll be back in a little bit. And um, in the life of the media, media, everybody cheering, media, hard at work. This is where I'm running to every five minutes to go downstairs. Follow me. Down the stairs. And into the press room. That's where it happens. We're wrapping up day one of the NFL draft here on Blurb TV at thunderblurb.com. Also, a lot of interviews, stuff, a lot of interesting moves. I'm going to blog a little bit about it tomorrow and recap, but uh, basically, it's cleanup time. And everybody will be back tomorrow morning, and so will I. Thanks for coming out, and uh, I'm going to go home and pass out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. shows, articles, and podcasts like this one, check out thunderingblurb.com.